Have you ever wondered about what happens near the surface of the sun? It's important to understand the workings of our central star, because it could affect our lives tremendously. Just think about space-based solar power generation for our energy needs, or solar sail propulsion for a future spacecraft that could even leave the solar system and make humanity a true spacefaring civilization. The possibilities are endless. Streaming out from the heart of our solar system at an astonishing million miles per hour, the solar wind is no ordinary breeze, it's a cosmic river of charged particles. This plasma, heated to extreme temperatures, defies the sun's gravitational grasp, surging outward along magnetic field lines that extend like cosmic highways into space. Picture the sun as a hot, spinning sphere, weaving its magnetic field lines into a mesmerizing spiral above its polar regions, giving birth to a stream of solar wind. But how far do these gusts reach in the solar system? These cosmic gusts, originating from regions known as coronal holes, extend their influence far beyond the planet's orbits. Yet, within the sun's active regions, where magnetic chaos brews in the form of dark sunspots, magnetic loops sculpted by the sun's powerful forces hold some plasma captive, creating mesmerizing webs of magnetic fields and streams of trapped particles. As the solar wind expands into the vast expanse of space, it forms a colossal bubble, the heliosphere, encompassing the sun and its retinue of planets. But as it ventures farther into the cosmic void, the solar wind thins, succumbing to the pressure of interstellar space. At the boundary of this cosmic frontier lies the termination shock, where the solar wind's supersonic journey slows to a subsonic crawl, marking the beginning of the helio sheath and the heliopause. These are the regions where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. You can imagine it like a boundary that is mostly empty space between different star systems in the galaxy. One might wonder how these particles escape the sun's immense gravity, where they originate from. In a groundbreaking study, scientists from NASA's Parker Solar Probe mission have unraveled a long-standing mystery surrounding the origin of the solar wind. A team from the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory has identified small-scale jetting in the sun's corona as a key driver of solar wind generation. These tiny jets, also known as jetlets, are propelled by a process called magnetic reconnection, where magnetic field lines rearrange and release energy in the form of heat and motion. Could you imagine that the sun could easily destroy all modern communications on Earth in the matter of hours? We'll talk about that later. But first we need to understand the idea behind these jetlets. Picture this. Miniature explosions happening on the sun's surface, each lasting between 20 to 100 seconds, ejecting plasma at speeds of about 60 miles per second. This phenomenon discovered by the Parker Probe's twin, the European Solar Orbiter, is shedding light on the enigmatic source of the solar wind, those constant streams of charged particles continuously emanating from the sun's corona. While larger solar events like coronal mass ejections and flares often steal the spotlight, these smaller scale eruptions, known as jetlets, are stealing the show with their surprising significance. How is it possible that we have not seen these phenomena before? Through meticulous analysis of data collected by the recently launched Parker Solar Probe, along with observations from Solar Dynamics Observatory or SDO and other instruments, researchers have pieced together a comprehensive picture of the solar wind's origins. The study, accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal, showcases the collaborative effort of scientists leveraging cutting-edge space and satellite technology to unlock the secrets of our nearest star. We are excited about the use of the Parker data in concert with ground-based and other space-based observations to further our understanding of the solar wind," said Margaret Luce, NASA's Deputy Director of the Heliophysics Division in the Science Mission Directorate, located at NASA's headquarters in Washington, D.C. Deciphering the origin of the solar wind has been a puzzle perplexing scientists for decades. But now, thanks to the remarkable capabilities of Solar Orbiter's Extreme Ultraviolet Imager, or EUI instrument, researchers are peering deeper into the heart of our star than ever before. Images captured on March 30, 2022, revealed a mesmerizing sight, faint yet powerful features erupting from the sun's atmosphere. These jets, barely visible to the naked eye, are reshaping our understanding of solar dynamics. Led by Lakshmi Pradeep Chitta of the Max Planck Institute for Solar System Research, the team behind this groundbreaking discovery is rewriting the textbooks on solar physics. What are the consequences of this new discovery? Imagine the sun as a cosmic engine, constantly churning out streams of solar wind that sculpt the space around us, 
But until now, the mechanism driving this process has remained obscure. The surprise of these tiny solar eruptions challenges long-held assumptions about the solar wind's origin. Rather than a steady uniform flow, it appears that the solar wind emerges from a tapestry of intermittent outbursts. This discovery not only reshapes our understanding of our own solar system but also offers a glimpse into the inner workings of stars beyond our cosmic neighborhood. Could this help us predict solar activity and space weather to our advantage? The implications of this discovery are far-reaching both in space and on Earth. By pinpointing the mechanisms responsible for solar wind generation, scientists gain invaluable insights into the sun's behavior and its influence on space weather. Moreover, understanding the solar wind's dynamics is crucial for predicting and mitigating its effects on Earth and spacecraft traversing the solar system. With advanced solar activity forecasts, we can protect our most vulnerable assets in space like satellites and space stations that greatly benefit our economy and safety on Earth. But how could the sun affect our everyday lives on the Earth? Well, the answer is pretty unsettling. Just as in 1859, when a massive coronal mass ejection called the Carrington event unleashed a barrage of charged particles towards Earth, a similar event today could spell disaster for our interconnected world. Telegraph lines and electric devices exploded in fire and were damaged. Modern communication infrastructure, reliant on satellites, highly sophisticated power grids, and delicate electronic systems, is extremely vulnerable to the intense electromagnetic radiation and geomagnetic storms unleashed by such a solar onslaught. The resulting power surges and disruptions could cripple global telecommunications networks, disrupt GPS navigation, and render critical infrastructure, such as power grids, banking systems, and even the internet, inoperable. In an age where digital connectivity underpins every aspect of modern life, the specter of a solar-induced communication blackout serves as a stark reminder of the need for vigilance and preparedness in the face of nature's fury. That's why it's important to not only advance our technology here on Earth, but also to expand our instruments in space to be able to forecast these events in advance. Furthermore, the discovery of magnetic reconnection-driven jetting sheds light on the broader field of astrophysics. Similar processes may occur in other stellar systems, impacting the evolution of planets and their potential for habitability. The discovery of jet lets as a potential driver of the solar wind adds another dimension to our understanding of solar activity and its potential impact on modern communication systems. We hope you enjoyed this episode and want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Orbital Prime and click the like button along with the bell to be notified when we release new episodes.